Well, the Walt Disney Company continues to go into the vault of animated productions to find inspiration for live-action films. Now, most of the adaptations so far have tried to stay true to the original animated offerings. But Maleficent sort of changed directions, opting to focus more on the film's villain than the Sleeping Beauty. Well, that's the case now with Cruella. Cruella. Oh. Mm. That's quite fabulous. And you designed this. Academy Award winner Emma Stone takes on the role of the puppy-hating villain Cruella de Vil from the 1961 animated film 101 Dalmatians. Now, this live-action features uh, story starts with uh, the Cruella as a grade schooler. Uh, it takes her up through a uh, sort of cantankerous uh, fashion designer. And director Craig Gillespie tells Cruella's story against the renegade fashion world of 1970s London. A young grifter by the name of Estella, who will become Cruella, lands a job with a prestigious fashion design firm. Now, all Estella wants to do is uh, to make gorgeous fashions, but her plans turn evil when she learns a heartbreaking truth about her heartless boss, played with great skill by Emma Thompson. Now, the majority of the screenplay by Dana Fox and Tona McNamara comes across like a dated version of The Devil Wears Prada with all the fashion elements. But that's okay because Thompson is so devilishly good at playing bad. A lot of the credit also goes to Stone as he tries to find that fine line between making Cruella feel real and yet keeping that cartoon element. She tries, but she doesn't always succeed. The two biggest problems with the movie is that Gillespie never heard a classic rock song he didn't want to use in the movie. The endless parade of tunes ends up being just a huge distraction. And despite being uh, based on an animated movie, Cruella is way too dark and way too long for youngsters. It could have used about a 45 minute edit. Now the movie will be opening in theaters on May 28th and will also be available on Disney+. Plus. For more on this film and more on other entertainment options, go to ricksreviews at kgt.com.